So we're usually talking in the lab with Mario and Steve, but today me and Jim are sitting in an airport. And uh, we were kind of just talking about what we've done the last couple of years. We've known each other. We're, um, you know, just working with Jim to get samples to prove out quicklime as a, as a solution. We've helped me get some bulk soil for testing at the Innovation Center. Recently, we had a job in Leesburg, Virginia, where our customer kind of proved to their customer that quicklime could improve on the soil that was already there and meet the specification. And what sparked our conversation that made me pull out my phone was um, we did a kind of a neat it wasn't a typical lunch and learn. We were out in the field with some some of the workers that were new to Quicklime, and we were talking to them about what they need to know. And speaking of new to Quicklime, this is where our conversation going. And uh, yeah, go ahead, Jim. Well, you know, Phil, as, as we discussed a little bit earlier today, you know, it always amazes me when when I'm talking to people that are new to Quicklime and trying to get them to understand what Quicklime is, how it works and uh, you know the benefits in the field of what they're trying to get accomplished and 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 this is really mainly for the for the guys that are really really new to quicklime and trying to understand okay you know if they're trying to one really just get a, a site back to where they can work you know from drying it drying out the muddy soils from you know days of rain or, or whatever it is or all the way from mucking out a, a stormwater management pond and but the, the cool thing about it is, is that when you do a follow-up with these guys um, after their experience with their first load or two or three of quicklime and, and, and you kind of want to get their feedback and and it, it is, it always seems to be, for me anyways, to be a, a sense of amazement. Oh my God, that stuff works great. And I can't believe it. You know, it's like, you know, one of those moments where I see it, but I don't believe it. And trust me, I, that's happened a lot over my time here at Mintec that, that, you know, you have guys that, you know, give it a try and, and they go, yeah, yeah, I kind of look at it, but you know, it's, I see it, but I don't believe it kind of attitude. And it's like, you know, but I think over time, you know, these guys that try it for the first time come back year in, year out, project after project, you know, and, and, and you know, continue to use it because they, they do see the benefits that it provides and keeping their jobs on track and you know it's 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 our story that's it and that was in the airport with phil and jim <laughs> thanks